How's it gaming guys? I'm Phil the Blanks and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. We are in Geno Dome. We've cleared the first floor and we've kind of discovered how the, the doors work and everything. And now we gotta kind of be able to find a way to um, energize them. Don't you understand? This planet would be peaceful if there were no humans around. And yet you still want to fight. Why? I don't know, because I just I wanna. Leave me alone. You're not my real mom. Oh man, I'm gonna skip the fights here. Everything is lightning too. Yeah, last episode we saw how incredibly powerful um, Omega Flare is. Holy shit, I was impressed. Where are we now? Oh, we're back here, but behind that little laser. But yeah, wandering around is fun. Click. Oh, shut that off. That's good. Is that all that was kind of here? Oh, we can go through here and click this. And that makes the uh, the um, conveyor belt turn. That's good. Now it's uh, moving upwards. Look at that. Yay. Did I want it to do that, though? I don't know yet. I don't know. Let's head back upstairs. Like, I, I remember what to do here, but for some reason, this is, this is very fuzzy to me. And Lapis. Yay. Uh, can I do anything here? Nope, can't even reach that. Listen well, humans. Lavos' children will one day have to leave to seek new planets and pray. This world could sustain them if humans were not around. We robots will create a new order, a nation of steel and pure logic, a true paradise. Our species will replace you. So stop your foolish struggle and succumb to the sleep of eternity. Jeez. Sounds fun at parties. Bunch of money. We're at a point now where money does not friggin' matter. Oh god. There's a human there. W what the? Let's help them! Ack. Let, Let us stop, stop the machine. machine. It's too well guarded. We have to destroy the central computer. Oof, that is creepy. Humans just being put through this machine and... Coming out the other side. It's creepy too, because when one comes over, if you go over here, they, they just become little, like, shiny spots, like tabs, and it's just, ugh, it's creepy. Full ether. Nothing else here? Wow, they just really want us to be disturbed by that imagery, huh? Fun. This place is fun. All right, so here is where we need to put those Poyoza dolls it was talking about, which we do not have yet. So let's go back, explore a little bit more, shall we? Oh, geez, come on. Really? Oh, that just still didn't do anything for me. Yeah, so I'm an idiot. The computer just tells me to charge up at the pod to your left, you know, this one. And then we can charge them like we saw that other robot do. Also, I love how the electricity is a clear sprite that's trying to follow me, but I'm too fast for it. Bam, that opens the door. And this guy's not an enemy. He's actually one of our... He's a friend of ours. Yay, he follows us around. Hooray, isn't he cute? Come on. Come on, little buddy. Come on. Can you not come onto the conveyor belt? All right, well, let's... uh, Let's turn the conveyor belt around. Why don't we? There we go. Oh, well, I didn't. <laughs> but for some reason that got him to travel with us anyways, so. Come on, I hate escort missions. You are slow. Stop being slow. Um, here, please. All right, and then you just set him up. Cross this guy. Come on. There we go. And we got a visual hat, and we got this guy. And now we can explore some more. Hooray! Let's go back. Oh, nope, sorry. Up here. We'll head downstairs. Or is it upstairs? 
is upstairs. It's not a very large area, but I like how it's like puzzly, even if I'm stupid. Also, yeah, if you hit this, you can't hit it. You'll just jump up and grab it. I'm just being really dumb. All right, where's the last Poyoza doll? I was missing. I can put one here. Boink. Oh, yeah, there were, like, lasers in the way, weren't there? And just go down here. Okay, where are they? Two elevators for basically the same area. I guess just to go behind that laser that one time. Um... What am I missing again? Probably another door, maybe I have to electrocute. Like this one up here, perfect. And zap, there we go. Perfect. Let's head on back. Upstairs, again. Sorry about this, guys. <laughs> I guess this one, this is the one that I really don't remember all that much. Oh no! Stuff! Welcome, Welcome back, Prometheus. Atropos. Yes, it's been a while, Prometheus. You can stop pretending now and join us. Pretending? <laughs> Unlike the other R series, Prometheus had a special task to live with humans and study them as a species. That's a lie. Tell them, Prometheus. It's a long pause. <laughs> now step back, Prometheus. We'll get rid of these humans, then go see Mother. Robo. What are you doing, Prometheus? I won't allow you to hurt them. You are indeed defective. They have tampered with you. I'll destroy them, then fix you. Atropos, you've changed. Indeed. Mother remade me to eliminate humans more efficiently. Step back, Prometheus. My name is Robo. Prometheus. Wait, stand back and leave this to me. Atropos. Prometheus. And we get a very rare one-on-one -on -one fight, um, which pretty much just means use Uzi Bomb or Area Bomb. Or Uzi Punch, sorry. Use your strongest attacks. Atropos does not have a lot of HP. You should be fine. I mean, geez, yeah. You'll be super okay. Though I do like how she has her own kind of, like, style of, uh, abilities that Robo has, too. It's a cool idea. Also, I get that she's a girl, but, like, does she have to be, like, stereotypically pink? It's just funny. Um... Uh, yeah, she has all the abilities, which is very cool. I don't think she has, like, shock or anything, but still a very, very fun idea. Yeah, that's powerful. But yeah, you, you should have no trouble. I mean, my god. Oh, wow. That did exactly half. I hope that's a that's what it does. It doesn't actually, like, you know. Uh, okay, we're good. Okay, cool. Yeah, that must have done, uh, like, exactly half damage, or else that would have been, like, really powerful. Jeez. Prometheus? It's been, been ages. Atropos. I'm damaged. What happened? Atropos. My memory bank. Mother must have done something nasty when she reprogrammed me. Partial memory res restored. I'm sorry, sorry, Prometheus. Save your strength. I'll patch you up. It isn't possible. Vital functions are, are down. Me memory bank damaged. Atropos. This 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 is for you. It's for you. You can plug plug your circuit. Plug this into your circuit. Please take care of it. Goodbye, Prometheus. 
And that's exactly what happens when robots die. They just disappear. When my toaster doesn't work anymore, it just, it's gone. So yet, Atropos' Ribbon, it ups Robo Speed by 3 and Magic Defense by 10. It is not an equipable item, that's permanent. So I love that. Magic Defense just straight up by 10 and Speed by 3, just permanently. That's awesome. If you haven't gotten it already, remember to go here, hit this, and you'll get something. It was like a Mega Elixir, it wasn't super important. Um, let's heal Robo right quick. Yay. Oh, that was a waste. <laughs> Whatever. And onward. Put our second Poyo's at all right here. And here we go. And creepy. You did well to come this far. I am the mother brain of the R-Y series factory. Come, Prometheus, you must once again join us. I'll reset your circuitry and erase your memories. Then we'll dispose of these filthy humans. I'm sorry, but I cannot afford to lose anything else. Not my precious memories or my irreplaceable friends. You would betray me to stay with these humans. You would turn against the family of robots. Humans have taught me much. Chrono, Marley, Luca, Frog, and Ayla. You know, but not not Magus. Magus like, ah, oh, come on, man. I taught you a Mega Flare. I will not betray my friends. Oh, <laughs> this is rich. Don't make me laugh. You have emotions. I'll show you just how human you've become. And a fight. So, you can steal um, elixirs from each of the display. I think you can steal a blue mail, I think, from Mother Brain herself. The displays will constantly, constantly heal her. They have one HP each, so they're like, oh, whatever, I'll take them out. Which is, you know, normally wouldn't be a bad idea. But every time you take out one of the displays, Mother Brain powers up. So what you're going to want to do instead is use Hypno Wave, which for some reason puts the displays to sleep and then you're free to take out uh, take out Mother Brain on your wand. Oh, did that not work? Oh, it didn't put them all down. Oh, right, because it's just... Oh, ah, shit. That's only around her. Oh, well, you know what? Not a big deal. Let's, uh... I'm gonna wait for, um... Luca here. Come on, give him that double V-bomb goodness. Yeah, I'm not getting a lot of damage against me, which is good. There we go. Yeah, let's see how much that does first. And then Dark Matter. Yeah. That defeats the displays. But Mother Brain's dead, so it doesn't matter. She has very low HP. But the problem is, if you kill the display, she gets really powerful. So, that's why you kind of have to take her out fast in between heals, but I mean, double V-Bomb is so good. Prometheus, why? And we have the Terra Arm and the Crisis Arm. Uh, two weapons for Robo, yay. All machines in the factory have been shut off for good. Robo. Let's go. Yay! That is Robo's side quest. I'm gonna meet you back at the end of time. Actually, I'm not yet. Um, so, okay, yeah, we have the Terror Arm and the... Uh, the um, what was the other one? Where'd it go? Crisis Arm. So the attack change is below 10 HP. Obviously, it's extremely powerful, but it's weak without that kind of, you know, stipulation. So, Terror Arm it is. Yeah, there we go. And now we have everyone's ultimate weapons, um, except for Ayla. Ayla's ultimate weapon is, of course, her fist, but she actually gains better fists as she gets a higher level. If you get a level 99, she actually has, like, the bronze fist, which will always do 9999 damage on criticals. It's sort of ridiculous. But, yeah, I'm going to get my party all set up, and I'll be right back, guys. All right, we've done all the side quests. The only thing that's left is to topple the Black Omen and defeat Lavos. So, hooray. It's a fairly long dungeon. I think it's the longest dungeon in the game. So, we want to head in there with a good party. And by good party, I mean this party specifically, just for this first little area. 
And this is the black omen. Oh, I love the way it looks. Hello, Le uh, Zeal. I almost called it the Lean. I'm sorry. Fools! Haven't you learned your lesson? We are immortal. We shall live forever with Lavos, who devours this planet even as he sleeps. Within 999 years, he'll become the ruler of this world. The Black Omen is a path which leads to Lavos. It is a shrine which provides us with limitless power. As long as the Mighty One reigns, your dreams are hopeless. It's like, lady, you are dramatic. You haven't talked to anyone in, like, like, a few tens of thousands of years, and you are, uh, still as crazy as ever. You should sacrifice yourself to the Mighty Lavos. <laughs> it's like, no, I'm good. Oh, and she's gone. So here is one of many bosses in this area. It is the Mega Mutant. Um, we're not going to even worry about it. Let's just use... Double V-Bomb. Uh, that will cause chaos to your characters, which is why I have the Vigil Hat on uh, Robo, and I also have the um, uh, Amulet on Luca, so they can't get confused. And bam. And bam. Easy enough. You can steal crap from him. Who cares? Fire zone. Oh, nice. Triple tech with the three guys. This is actually not going to be the the um, uh, the party I'm going to go through the black one with, but might as well check out that triple tech. Why not? Right? Right. Wait for these guys to turn around. I think it's like the other uh, shield enemies. Ah, screw it. Let's just use it anyways. Basically, Max Cyclone with some fire added to it. Love that. Very cool. But it does no damage. <laughs> ah, no. I should have saw that coming. But yeah, I guess it won't matter because <laughs> I have status ailment protection. There we go. Now we can attack that guy. Oh, his name is Peep. Oh, the, the... Oh, Incognito is when he has the mask up. When he doesn't have the mask up, his name is Peeping Doom. That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. All right, show yourself. Okay, cool. All right, with this fight out of the way, though, I'm going to switch to basically the party that I'm going to keep for the rest of the game. Let's uh, do that. I'll be right back, guys. All right, here is basically my final party. Chrono with the Rainbow, Prison Helm, Moon Armor, and Frenzy Band. Robo with a Terra Arm, Prism Helm, Ruby Armor, Gold Stud, and... Ayla with the Fist, Prism Helm, Zodiac Cape, Prism Specs. That's basically my final loadout. There'll be some small changes here and there. But, I mean, this is pretty strong. Like, all their attack are almost 200. Like, Robo's lagging behind barely. Uh, their magic defense is all nearly maxed out with Robo being only at 82. Like, that's pretty damn good. So, I think we're doing just fine. Use any tabs you have on whatever party you think is going to be your ultimate party. And let's uh, continue on, shall we? Yeah. This is it. This is the final dungeon. We're getting there, guys. So yeah, a lot of a lot of new enemies that we'll only see here, and they're very, very powerful. So, but we've got a good party. I mean, Ayla and Chrono are the strongest physical attackers in the game. Robo's a great mage, surprisingly, who's got very good attack. Uh, with the um, gold stud, he has a lot of MP now, so he can heal like crazy. And Ayla's around because not only is she this super powerful and kind of cute, but she can steal, like against these guys. Um, goons, you can steal friggin', what can you steal from them again? It's like Nova Armors or something. Careful, the drop lowers your HP by half, like it said right there. Come on, grab it, nope. Yeah, you want to be careful with these guys because of the amount of damage they can do. I like to kill one off and then concentrate, ah shit. Concentrate on the other for Ayla to steal from. Yeah. But they're not insanely powerful, but they're powerful enough. Considering how powerful my team is, it's, uh, yeah, like, Ayla might die in the next hit if I'm not paying attention. So, shit. I don't have the charm top on her. Maybe I should have. That increases her charm ability, but whatever. Uh, let's get the kill beam going. Yeah, these guys are actually, like, not these specific enemies, like, this area is actually going to give you a little bit of an actual, not even challenge, just now we're back to, you know, paying attention during fights instead of just plowing everything down with lightning twos and luminaires and everything. 
so. Hooray for that. Gonna get at least one of them? Yeah, there we go. Nova armor. Hooray. I actually don't know if the Nova, Nova armor is, is actually good for my party. Because uh, I've got, you know, one person has a Zodiac cape, one person has a ruby armor, one the other person has the... Uh, um, Friggin' moon armor. And the moon armor is definitely the better thing uh, compared to the Nova armor, but I'm trying to see if the Nova armor is better than either of the other two things. And there we go. You'll notice we're not getting tech points anymore. That's because we don't need them. Everyone's learned everything, so it's not really important. Let's check that out, shall we? Yeah, the Nova armor is better. Not a lot, but it does protect status, and that's worth it for me. Uh, we're not going to fight specifically elemental enemies, so the fire thing isn't super important. So there we go. Final loadout, basically. And um, we'll uh, stop here. Be good. This is a save point right over there. I'll, like, fight this guy, and I'll make it over to that save point. And we'll start here next time on the journey through the Black Omen on Let's Play Chrono Trigger. I'm Phil Blanks. See you guys next level.